Hello, and welcome to the 2020-2021 North Carolina All-State Honors Orchestra. My name is Ryan Ellison, the chairperson for this year's very non-traditional event. Over the course of the last year, we have faced many challenges, educationally speaking, which makes this year's event all the more impressive. I want to take a moment to thank all of the students for being so flexible and independent in preparing your music to the all-state standard that we, have, that we have come to know. The teachers of these students for ensuring that their students prepared their music to the best of their ability. And finally, to the parents who continue to support their children in their musical pursuits, even in the most difficult of circumstances. None of this would have been possible without you. Before presenting this year's All-State Honors Orchestra world premiere, I want to take a moment to recognize some fantastic educators in the state of North Carolina. First, I would like to recognize the Regional Teachers of the Year. The Orchestra Section Teachers of the Year are exemplary educators in our field and work tirelessly to keep our students enthused and engaged. From the Western Region, we recognize Amanda Turner, an accomplished orchestral educator in the Charlotte region, entering her 22nd year of teaching at both Ardrey Kell and East Mecklenburg High Schools. Amanda began her career in Greensboro at Grimsley High School in Kaiser Middle School before graduating from UNC Greensboro in 1998. During her current tenure at Ardrey Kell in East Mecklenburg, Amanda has earned her MME from the University of North Carolina Greensboro and was awarded National Board Certification in 2005 and 2008, respectively. Her orchestras have received superior ratings at MPA and both schools have performed at the North Carolina Music Educators Conference in Winston-Salem. Outside of teaching, Amanda enjoys yoga, yoga, spending time with her husband, Chad, and their beautiful children, daughter Allison and son Asher and dog Bella. From the Eastern region, we recognize Kimberly Zimmerman, Ms. Zimmerman received her BME from Salem College and her Master's in Cello Performance from Appalachian State University. She has been teaching orchestra at Swansboro Middle School since 2011, where she is the advisor of the Triumph Music Honor Society, the Encore Team Leader, and a mentor for beginning teachers. Kimberly has served NCMEA as the Junior Eastern Regional Orchestra Audition Chair and was recently named the Swansboro Middle School Teacher of the Year, as well as a finalist for Onslow County Teacher of the Year. When she's not working, Kimberly loves to travel, play the cello, take naps, bake cookies, and take pictures with a camera that far exceeds her skill, her skill level. Congratulations to Amanda Turner and Kimberly Zimmerman. Our Hall of Fame recipients are teachers who have dedicated 20 years or more of active service to teaching in the state of North Carolina. These educators embody sustained, sustained success, leadership to NCMEA, and most importantly, demonstrate a lifelong commitment to their students. In alphabetical order, we first recognize Nathan Artley. Nathan Artley holds a Bachelor of Science in Music Education from Elon University and a Master's of Arts from The Ohio State University where he was a graduate teaching assistant in string education. His teaching experiences include Salisbury, adjunct teaching at Pfeiffer University, and Elon University, all in North Carolina. During his teaching career, Nathan has held many professional offices at both the state and national levels, including the National Recording Secretary, Secretary for the National School Orchestra Association. At the state level, Nathan has held the following offices for NCMEA Orchestra. Chair of the North Carolina Honors Orchestra, Chair of the NCMEA Orchestra Section, Chair of the Eastern North Carolina Solo and Ensemble event, which he and his father, Dr. Artley, resurrected after years of inactivity, and Chair of Eastern North Carolina MPA. Nathan has been honored as a multiple inductee of Who's Who Among, American, uh, Among America's Teachers, and was awarded the 2009 Eastern Regional Teacher of the Year. In his own words, Mr. Artley states, I am deeply humbled and honored to be awarded an NCMEA Lifetime Achievement Award by the NCMEA Orchestra Section. To be recognized by my peers and professional associates means a great deal. Thank you. We also recognize 
Mrs. Sally Ross. Sally Ross retired last year after a 35-year teaching career as a strings educator, the last 20 spent with the Hickory City Schools, where she taught orchestra at Northview Middle School, as well as its predecessor, College Park Middle School, and at Hickory High School. She also enjoyed the opportunity to teach IB music at Hickory High. These, the students in these orchestras consistently earned superior ratings at MPA and performed at the North Carolina Music Educators Conference, Carnegie Hall, Kennedy Center, Lincoln Center, the Sony Building, and Brunton Parish Church in Colonial Williamsburg. They also performed with students from Frederick, Frederick Douglass Academy No. 8 in Brooklyn, New York, led by College Park and Hickory High graduate Jamal Jones. FDA students then traveled to Hickory the following year and performed a joint concert with Northview and Grandview Middle School students. A native of Ohio, Mrs. Ross holds degrees in cello performance from the University of Toledo and Northwestern University with additional study at the Hart School of Music. She also holds an MED degree from Milligan College. A lifetime's worth of congratulations and appreciation for all of your work to Mr. Nathan Artley and Mrs. Sally Ross. At this time, I would like to recognize a few students who have successfully auditioned for a scholarship to one of our many wonderful summer music programs here in North Carolina. Each year, string students who participate in the North Carolina Honors Orchestra are given the opportunity to audition for summer music camp scholarships. This year, we have three students who have won scholarships for a North Carolina summer music camp. Our first recipients have won a scholarship to the Brevard Music Festival, an intensive 12-week summer music camp located in the heart of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Please join with me in recognizing Kate McKenzie from the Weaver Academy, James DeFiglia Director, and John Paul Hernandez from the St. Thomas More Academy, Elizabeth Ivy Wilson Director. Our final scholarship winner is for the Chamber Music on the Hill program at Converse College. CMOTH is a three-week rigorous program concentrated with integrating the study of chamber music and private lessons and multiple performance opportunities. This year's scholarship winner is Emily Lynn from Atkins High School, Greg Murphy Director. Congratulations to all of you. Without a doubt, this year has been and continues to be a challenge. When faced with the uncertainty of the 2020-2021 school year, it would have been much easier to simply admit defeat and cancel this year's Allstate Orchestra. However, I wanted to see if hosting a virtual ensemble was possible, but only if the stars aligned perfectly. From my point of view, if we couldn't create an experience that would make our students, teachers, and parents proud, then it wouldn't be worth the effort. As you will soon see and hear, Every star aligned perfectly, and I couldn't be more proud. The last challenge for our virtual ensemble was the production of our virtual ensemble and appropriate music for this new medium. Fortunately, we, we found an excellent video producer in Nathaniel Yaffe. Mr. Yaffe is a cellist and the recording engineer for the North Carolina Symphony. His productions can be viewed with the North Carolina Symphony website from his From Our Homes to Yours series. Thank you for all of your expertise, Mr. Yaffe. Having a video producer in place, all we needed was the music. We were already scheduled to premiere a piece composed by Brian Balmages for the Fall 2020 Allstate Orchestra. When we moved to a virtual event, I contacted Mr. Balmages to see if he could rewrite his piece for string orchestra. After hearing what we were hoping to accomplish, Mr. Balmages offered to write a completely new piece of music specifically for us to premiere virtually. We are incredibly grateful for all of Mr. Balmage's graciousness in working with the students of North Carolina to make this a unique experience. And now to the music. I asked Mr. Balmage's to say a few words as the introduction to the North Carolina All-State Orchestra's world premiere. Again, I am so proud of all of the, our students and teachers who have worked so hard to make this a reality. Congratulations to all of you. And now, Mr. Balmages. I'm Brian Balmages, composer of The Fire Within. This is not a typical premiere. But then again, it's been anything 
other than a typical year. But one thing has remained constant, and that is the energy, the dedication, the perseverance, and the overall fire within every single member of the North Carolina Honors Orchestra. When I began to work on this particular piece for this particular event, one thing I knew was true above everything else, and that was that the student musicians that had made this group had done so because they were never willing to give up. They were never willing to be satisfied. They always pushed themselves. They always practiced just a little bit more and tried to get things just a little bit better so that their audition can be just a bit better. They never are satisfied. And that speaks to the fire that burns strongly within each one of them. And it is an inextinguishable fire that no pandemic can silence. Because of this, the notes to the fire within came quickly and in floods of emotion and triumph. This piece celebrates what nothing can stop, and that is the artistic, the musical integrity of all of these incredible students in North Carolina, the vision of their teachers, the vision of the administration, and the passion of the collective whole, which makes things like this possible. I hope you enjoy this wonderful premiere by an incredibly passionate group of amazing individuals, and pretty soon you'll clearly see that the fire burns within them in a big way. Thank you.